Security in Web3 is a big deal. In 2024 alone, hackers stole over $2.2 billion from Web3 applications. This is 40% increase from last year. Even the most reputable protocols and exchanges are not immune to hacks. Some of the ethical hackers or bug bounty hunters are making millions by finding the vulnerabilities and reporting them before the hackers do. Some are even earning enough to consider early retirement. In this video, I will break down how much the top bug bounty hunters are making in Web3, which platforms they use, and whether you could retire early from Web3 bug bounty hunting. Without further ado, let's get started. So where do the Web3 bug bounty hunters actually work? We have these platforms that connect protocols and projects to the ethical white hat hackers. And these websites and platforms offer bounty programs for different protocols and projects. Now then these white hat hackers can come to the platform, try to investigate the different protocols, find vulnerabilities, report them in a certain way, and then earn the bounty. This is in general how these platforms work. And the biggest one of them all is Immunify, which have plenty of bounties available. If you go to Immunify, the bounties page, you can see all the different bounties that are available and also what is the max bounty that is being offered by the protocol. So you can see that currently the max bounty is offered by layer zero. And if you're able to find a critical bug in layer zero, which is essentially a bridge infrastructure between blockchains, you can earn up to 15 million dollar per bounty. Now, sometimes they expose how much was paid to hunters, but in that case, layer zero do not expose. You can also sort it payable by total paid, and you can see that Polygon paid the most amount of money to bounty hunters. In total, $7 million were paid. So you can see here all kinds of details about the available bounties and also you can dive into a certain bounty, let's say Polygon, by clicking View Bounty and look at all the details. Another cool page is the leaderboard, which you can take a look and see which people are leading in terms of earnings and score in the platform. For instance, you can see that the first one is Barracuda, and he earned more than $40 million on this platform alone. Now, usually bug bounty hunters work in multiple platforms, so you can imagine that he probably made more money in other platforms as well, solely by finding bugs and reporting them to Web3 projects. So these are all very, very interesting people that are worth following. Some of them have LinkedIn and Twitter accounts, so check out and maybe you can learn something. This was Immunify, the biggest bug bounty hunting platform in Web3. Now, another great platform is Hack and Proof by Hack and Company, and it offers plenty of bug bounty programs in range of bounties, range of protocols, so you can definitely check it out. We have, for example, GMGN Web and Mobile that offer up to $1 million. We have other few programs that offer 25K, 10K, 300K, and so on. Another great platform is Cantina that they both, ho they both host competitive audits and also bug bounty platforms. And here they have huge bounties like Uniswap, 15 million plus, Euler, Morpho, Pendle Finance, like the biggest of the biggest protocols. So I think these protocols are, by the way, have bounty programs in Immunify as well. So you can check the different programs on the different websites, but sometimes you will see the same protocols that are hosting bound, bug bounty program in few websites at the same time. So definitely check out cantina.xyz. Other two great platforms that started as audit competitions platforms and also recently added bug bounties are sherlock.xyz, and you can go to their bounties page, post-deployment and pre-deployment, Pre-deployment, I think, is audit competitions, but post-deployments are already protocols that are deployed to the blockchains, and if you find a bug and report it, you can earn up to 800k, 500k, 250k, and so on. Also, here you can see big names and big protocols like Yearn Finance, 
and that's it that's the only one i know maybe ethos and also in code arena another platform that was initially only audit competitions and also they added bounties and you have moonwell and another known protocols 250k dinero two million dollars and so on not that many bounties available in sherlock and code arena because the, i assume they're more focused on auditing competitions but also worth checking out Last but not least is Hashlog, another platform that offers bug bounties. We have here five uh, bounty options, five protocols, 500k, Red Belly Network, Wise Landing 100k, IMF 20k, Pardons DAO 20k, and Achilles uh, 15k. So these are the most leading bug bounty platforms and how hackers are going there, looking for vulnerabilities, reporting them, and making money. Now, we already had a glimpse to the leaderboard of uh, Immunify and so how much money bug bounty hunters are making in Web3, but now I want to take a specific look at specific huge bounties that hackers landed. You have to understand that usually when you find bounties, it ranges probably between 10k to sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars, like 500k maybe if you're lucky, or 300k, but there are cases where hackers are finding such a critical vulnerabilities in big protocols that if black hat hackers would have found them and exploited them the results could have been catastrophic so the first one is the warm hole bridge vulnerability where a hacker was paid 10 million dollars for one vulnerability now, the cool thing is that for every vulnerability here, there is a detailed technical report with POC, proof of concept, where you can read and learn how these hackers found this vulnerability. And I highly encourage you to do so. And you can see here that this bug could have been catastrophic. POC itself showed how $736 million could have been stolen from wormhole bridges and that's why the hacker was paid 10 million dollars another huge pay was aurora aurora is an evm blockchain and they paid six million dollars bounty to ethical hacker through immunify the hacker showed how he can steal 200 million dollars from the blockchain itself it was a vulnerability in the smart contracts it was a vulnerability in the blockchain itself by the way and again, you can read more about this hack and there are technical details and technical articles and code samples of how this hacker was able to find this exploit. He, he, actually, I read this article. It's very interesting. He shared his whole thought process and how he exploded and how he found it and how he reported it, like the whole story. So definitely check it out. Next one is Polygon. Polygon is also known as one of the biggest uh, blockchains, EVM blockchains, and they paid $2.2 million again through Immunify. You can already notice that the most notable payouts are going through Immunify, the biggest bug hunting platform in web3 and you can check out the twitter of the guy who found this vulnerability he could have still nine million matic tokens i don't know why the price was back then but i guess it's a lot sorry it's nine billion matic tokens nine billion i think back then it was maybe one dollar per, mat per matic or half dollar so it's a lot of money and here you can read further and see that they paid 2.2 million dollars to one hacker leon spacewalker and then another 500k matic tokens to whitehead to another hacker that probably participated in this disclosure process and you can see that at the time when they paid it it's worth 1.2 million dollars so i can assume two dollars per matic which means that this hack could have resulted of like 18 million dollars being stolen from polygon and last but not least optimism again a huge blockchain layer two on top of ethereum and they paid a hacker a developer two million dollars of for uh, removing a critical bark in the optimism i think it was in the op stack in the optimism virtual machine that allowed him to mint new tokens out of nowhere Becoming a bug bounty hunter is not easy. And all these people that you see over here, they possess certain skills and qualities that allow them to research these protocols, find the vulnerabilities and exploit them. Now, what are the necessary skills in order 
to make it in Web3 bug hunting. First, you need to learn about Web3 and the fundamentals of blockchains, of EVM, of Ethereum, of Bitcoin, and learn the Solidity language, which is the language that is used to write smart contracts on Ethereum blockchain, Aurora, Polygon, and Matic as well. Then you need to learn all the fundamentals when it comes to hacking Solidity and smart contracts in general, blockchain smart contracts. And you can learn that through the smart contract hacking course where we have so many chapters, so many learning materials, so many videos, and of course, hands-on exercises that will prepare you better for the battlefield. I don't believe in just watching videos and reading stuff, but I believe in hands-on approach and learning by doing. That's why every chapter over here is coming together with some hands-on exercises and solution walkthroughs as well, like flash loan attacks, governance attack, front-running attacks, sensitive on-chain data, denial of service attack, oracle manipulation, and so on. Now, the important thing about this course is that it's based on real-world attacks, DeFi hacks that happened in the past or that were found in auditing competitions or bug bounty hunting uh, platforms. So you definitely want to start with the basics, with the fundamentals, learning all those concepts, doing those exercises, succeeding them. Also, join the community that we have. Maybe connect with some fellow students and fellow hackers. Maybe get a certificate if you want to learn a job in the future. But first, get the fundamentals. And now for the most important question. Let's say you learn everything and you start doing bug bounty hunting in Immunify, in Sherlock, Codarina, Hashlock, Hack and Proof, and so on. Can you make the same amount of money? Can you make millions of dollars and retire early? And the answer is probably no, okay? I want to be honest with you. You are not going to just take one course, start doing bug hunting, and earn $2 million. That's not how things work, right? So these hackers, these people that we saw over here, they have plenty of experience when it comes to research, to finding vulnerabilities, and maybe even certain skills. Their brain is like kind of build the way that they don't give up. They go, they are super creative. They find these vulnerabilities and they find these super critical, unique vulnerabilities that everyone missed and they help the industry that way and also get rewarded. Now, you can become one of them, but it's not overnight. It's not you're going to take a course and that's it. You're going to land a $6 million bounty. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of skills, a lot of experience, a lot of practice. Yes, it starts from fundamentals. It starts from taking some courses, but then it's hundreds and sometimes thousands of hours of like observing smart contracts, observing code bases, trying to break them, trying to find vulnerabilities, failing again and again and again. Here you see only the success stories, but I'm sure that these seven reports that paid Barracuda $14 million, he had maybe 700 more reports that got rejected. So what I'm trying to tell you here that there are no get-rich-quick scheme, and I'm not promising you that you will become one of them, them and you will lend those million-dollar hacks, but I can promise you that if you will learn, if you will get the fundamentals right, if you will put in the time and the work and the grind, uh, I can promise that you will get better and that one day you will be able to lend your first bounty. Even if it's hundred dollars, if it's even if it's five hundred dollars or maybe two thousand dollars, it doesn't matter because it's something and it's a progress and it's a journey that you're gonna start today and maybe in a few years you're gonna thank your past self and maybe me for the fact that you took the first step and you had faith in yourself and you worked hard and you granted and then you made it. So to summarize, yes, it's possible to make millions of dollars in Web3 bug hunting, but again, it requires a lot of work, a lot of experience and a lot of skills. It's not something that you can do overnight. It's a long process. It's a long journey, but you can do that as well. If you enjoy this content, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome Web3 security hacking tutorials. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Also, let me know in the comments if you're interested, if you're starting, if you're taking the first step, I want to hear you. So write it in the comments below. What are your plans? How are you planning to start your journey and maybe one day become one of the best Web3 bug bounty hunters? Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.